from TAP Network and also um, Tariq Manar here from TAP Network. Lisa, welcome. I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Have a great webinar. Thank you so much. Thanks, Aretha. We're so happy to be here, Tarek and I. Um, Tarek, if you can move it to our beautiful pictures. So I am the Director of Strategy here at TAP. I've worked for the past 20 years in marketing and communications uh, with various companies from Fortune 100 companies, um, nonprofits, small businesses, you name it. And Tarek is a web developer, AI extraordinaire um, with experience in over the past six years developing websites to engage um, and convert um, your audience. So we're happy to be here with you today. So I'll tell you a little bit about TEP Network. Um, we collaborate with governments, nonprofits, and all different agencies. Um, and we have a range of services from starting from $99 to multi-million, uh, multi-year projects. We focus on digital innovation and technology, um, creation, creation of websites to full funnel marketing strategies. And in partnership with TechSoup, um, again, we, divide, we provide web development um, to nonprofits worldwide. We empower them to enhance their capacity build, right, building, fundraising, and community impact, especially in these challenging times. So it's our mission and commitment to accelerate your growth. Um, so we're here to talk about AI and content strategy. It, the first thing I want to say is you're here talking about, about AI. Congratulations, because not only is this uh, the forefront of innovative technology, um, but it's something that is brand new. So hopefully you've played around with it, you've tested it, um, and, and you're familiar with it. But today we're going to provide the strategy, an overview, and then some um, real life tips and tricks and, and show you in real time um, what we can accomplish. So if you could go to the next slide, show you the benefits, how to harness the power for content creation, um, and then really where to begin. And this is where the strategy comes in. And then we're gonna show you best prax practices. So let's dive right in. Um, as you can imagine, um, and if you could go to that next slide. AI is, is really your, oh, back one more. The benefits, let's talk about the benefits of AI with content creation. Um, you really wanna see it as your ally and your partner when you think about creating content for a website. It's not going to replace or do the job for you, but it's really going to save you time and make your job more efficient. And when it when you come to create content, it can not only increase traffic and engagement because you're personalizing it to your audience, but it can also help increase conversions to your website, which then can help with fundraising. And again, this is a scary new tool. We hope to alleviate some of those fears um, with showing you some uh, real life applications and how it can grow your organizations. So I wanna frame this, you can go to the next slide, um, with thinking that AI can help you create user-centric content. So everybody has a different mission here. Everybody's out doing, um, wonderful things and you have a variety of different target audiences and in order for them to convert and engage with your content you really need to create a uh, user-centric content and you've heard the phrase um, content is king well really in, when it comes to marketing content is the entire kingdom and crafting that user-centric centric content strategy is going to be of utmost important and to make them maximum impact. All right. So at TAP Networks thinks about creating content and before we use AI in five simple steps. You want to define that audience. And what we do is we create one to three different personas. So as a as a nonprofit, you probably have your the citizens, the users, the people who you're trying to reach your volunteers and, and your donors. 
Um, and we talk about personas, it's not specific, you can get into specific demographics, but on a high level, um, what's the tone you're going to use? What are their pain points? And coming up with this framework before we even use AI will make this tool powerful. You also want to understand what existing content that you have and do a content audit. Now, this helps by either reframing the content that you have and maybe you need to rewrite it, or you can identify gaps and opportunities so AI can help fill those. And then of course, you wanna bring the two together. You wanna to take your content audit, your audience, and you wanna map it to your goals. You wanna have a solution-oriented content. Um, and again, finding your voice. So we all hopefully have a clear mission with our nonprofit. You have a clear audience, but does that reflect um, in, in the voice and in your content that you're creating, whether or not it's emails, it's on your website, it's in your print material. So knowing it is one thing, but AI can help you develop that voice um, and making sure that it aligns with your mission um, and, and that it sounds authentic. Because these days with not only social media and video, people can tell very quickly whether or not the information, the expertise you're putting out there um, is authentic. And then lastly, AI can help um, with writing to a specific platform. So we know email will be very different than social media, will be very different than newsletters. So the tips and tricks, and we are gonna get into the, the meat of this and the content of prompting AI to get out the information for the right audience, the right platform using the right voice. And again, you think of um, going back to how this helps with your Say I'm only one person. I just have an executive director. So no, or you could have a big staff, but their time um, is valuable. So if we are able to save you time, reduce those bottlenecks, and use AI as an ally, um, that's what we're here to do. All right. So the, what everybody's waiting for, Tarek is going to show you um, how to apply that strategy. Uh, using a few AI tools. Hello, beautiful people again. So I'm, I'm going to share a couple of uh, things today. Again, uh, if you have uh, participated on our last uh, webinar that we did before, I think two months ago, uh, I, I shared a couple of uh, prompts and stuff like that, but I'll try to share it again today. I'll first start with some uh, content uh, to give you some idea with the slide. Then I'll dive into practically and show you how you can do this and apply it to your own with some done for you prompt that you can just copy and paste and apply it on your end. So for <clears throat> before you go, I think uh, we should talk about what is AI. I think most of the people already know what is AI. Is AI is artificial intelligence. It's something like uh, it can... <laughs> People say it's, it's like what you can say is like people uh like people say it's like AI will be uh, yeah yeah you're gonna replace humans but let's uh, put this debate on another side uh let's take AI as a helper or a helping hand of a human like for us more specifically so it's a technology that will enable computer or blah 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 stuff like that that will uh gonna do the work more efficiently without any errors than humans so. Uh, let me show you a couple of AI today. So one of the AI we're going to talk about is the chat GPT. Chat GPT is a uh, open AI uh, chat bot that you can, answer, you can ask a particular question and that's going to reply you with the answer. The better question you ask, the better answer you will get. So I uh, on this slide, you can say like, uh, I put a couple of content here to get, uh, get an idea of what is chat GPT, what is all about, stuff like that. It's, it, chat GPT is an advanced computer program designed to have a text-based conversation with users is like having a chat with an intelligent virtual assistant. That was actually 100% correct. Uh, like if you go to chat GPT and you ask a particular question, whatever the question can be anything. Whatever question you have, you just go there, put your question and click on enter. It's gonna answer with the uh, particular answer. So it's really powerful. I'll show you the power of it and I'll show you how you can apply for your nonprofit 
uh, co website content creation yeah. and you'll be immersed to see like how powerful it is I, I i think 30 to 40 minutes is not enough to cover off everything but i'll i'll do my best to share everything as much as possible you can say like you can ask uh, it questions seek advice or discuss various topics it tries to generate response that makes sense and provide helpful information based on its training however since it's an ai it may occasionally produce rep responses that are incorrect or misleading. So this is really important. Most of the people will have this question is like, do the content or whatever uh, answer this AI provide are 100% accurate and true? Uh, the answer will be no, because this is uh, just an AI. I'll say it's like it's on the beta mode. It's not actually 100% ready, uh, but whatever it's doing is doing a really good job what you have to do here is like you have to uh, take a look at the content, what the AI produce and try to do some sort of tweakings. Or before you publish to your content to your website or, 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 or any other channel, you have to double check what it writes because sometimes it may not produce the accurate information. But if you ask the right, right question, 99% of the time it will give you the right answer. So it's important to verify the information from the reliable sources if necessary but most of the time you don't have to you just have to take a look on that like uh, what content it produces so uh, how chat gpt works so this these kind of things like this slide can't actually explain how chat gpt works because we have to see this and practically i'll show you on how to create an account uh, how to create an account and how to do this stuff with your own but before i jump in uh, there's a couple of things you should know is like the prompt. Let's say a uh, chat GPT is an NLP model. It's like a natural language processing model. You have to ask a question and it will reply uh, your question. So the question will say is prompt. So the better question or the prompt you ask, the better answer it will give. What I did like doing tons of hours of work, like hey, you can see, I just put a couple of uh, prompts here that you can just copy go to chat GPT, paste it and enter with your information and it will give you the complete copy easily. Here you can see like chat GPT prompt. So there's a, I put free prompt that can help you to generate copy for your website, for your sales page, for your registration or donation page. Whatever you want to use, whenever you want to use, you can do this. What do you have to do? You just copy this, um, particular prompt here you can see the create an engaging sales copy that inspire people to support a this third bracket npo name means like you have to put your nonprofit or organization name here and the problem it's of the problem uh like uh, you have to put here the problem your nonprofit solved once you fill out the uh, information here you go copy and paste it on chat gpt it will it's gonna generate engaging sales copy for you and within a couple of seconds. I'll show you live practically, but just to give you an idea how it will work. There's a couple of framework uh, you have to use to get best copy, like the, uh, the like the good copywriter expert copywriter uses this framework. So I think there's 20 plus frameworks out there, but uh, for more specifically for this nonprofit industry, there's a couple of uh, copywriting framework works really good. And what two of them are past framework and before and before after bridge framework. So I just put two together here. What you have to do, you have to copy this NPO name for like this one. You have to copy, let me, let me show you. What you have to do, you have to copy this. I'm doing it with my mouse, sorry for the things. Have to copy and you have to put your nonprofit organization name here. Addressing a problem. So that will be the problem you, you're going to change. Okay. And then you have to put uh, again your NPO name or the nonprofit organization name. Then once we have this ready, you just copy and paste it on, on the chat GPT and click on enter. That's going to write all the copy you needed with this framework using this problem dictate 
solution or path framework. That is mind blowing. I'm going to show you how powerful it is. Then the same thing for this one as well is like before and after bridge framework. I recommend you, uh, everyone, whoever is trying going to try chat GPT, copy this, enter your information between the third bracket. Okay. And once you have put your information, just click on enter. It's going to answer. It's going to reply with the copy and you will be amazed to see how powerful, how beautiful it is. Uh, okay, so let me clear it up everything and show you what kind of things it can generate. Okay. So these slide, like on this slide, you can see there's some example. Uh, what I did here is like I just took the copy of uh, a prompt from the last page, last uh, pr uh, slide, and just paste it on chat GPT. Once I paste it on ChatGPT, has the answer ChatGPT provided. Here you can see. These are the question, and that's the answer. I'll show you this on my ChatGPT account as well, but just see how powerful it is. So, I think uh, you you're gonna go this. Uh, you you're gonna get this slide. So once you get this slide, you can do your own practice, and you can also see how I did this, how we can apply this, just copy and paste it. Okay. Let me go to the next slide before I jump in the practical stuff. Okay. Okay, so using ChatGPT for writing articles or article writing, writing blogs, blah, 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 whatever it is. So how ChatGPT works is like the better information you provide, the better answer you will give. So before you uh, paste this prompt, what you have to do, you have to go to ChatGPT. And once you go to ChatGPT, you have to, before you pass this information, you have to tell them who you are, what your NPO does, what was the name of your organization, what are the main goal you want to achieve, what kind of problem you are solving. Give them like in two or three sentences, tell like, hey, ChatGPT, we are this organization and we have people or we have to save environment we have people with water, heart, whatever it is, and your goal, and we want to achieve this. Then what you have to do, you have to copy this prompt and paste it with your information. Once you paste it, it's going to create the best article you needed using ChatGPT. That is, that's going to blow your mind away. So I'll show you a practical example as well with this. I'll show you everything. Uh, I'll show you the, all the practical example you needed, but before I jump in, I just want to give you an idea how you can do this with your own. So there are three prompt out there. You can copy and paste and that will give you a different result. I can see an example I did using chat GPT for article writing. So copy and paste it. Left hand, left side, you see the example prompt that I copied. And on the right image, you can see uh, I put paste the content and it reply with the answer how beautiful it is. Okay, let me go to the next slide. Let's go landing page optimization. And most of the people may know what is land, what what is landing page actually. Some may don't know. A landing page is something we we call is like having a part, having a one goal at a time. Let's say you have one goal, one button, one offer at a time, and you create the page you are gonna create is called landing page. So the landing page is created for the promotional part, like you are running ads to get uh, uh, the donation. You want to get more lead, uh, more more uh, like stuff like that, and you created a funnel. So the most important part to have like you you should have a really good landing page, and you have to optimize it on the ongoing basis. So most of the time, you, most of the people don't have any idea like what is landing page and how landing page works, how landing page optimization actually works. In that case, uh, AI can help you. I, I must say like, this is really game changer. Like this is gonna change your game. You, even you can use your website link or you can tell them about your website and gonna reply with the recommendation and stuff that you can apply to get better result, better conversion. Like here you can see, you just copy this prompt, replace with your nonprofit organization name and here you can see like, desired action, like you want them to convert into lead, you want them to donate, you want them to do a particular action on your website, 
you just put your information here, your mission and vision, everything like inside the third bracket, and that's gonna generate the landing page optimization recommendation from ChatGPT. Super powerful. I want everyone to apply this on your own and you, you will be see how powerful, how beautiful the answer is. Let me show you a live example. What I did, I, I just copied this prompt and uh, let's say I, I pick a uh, charity here. It's called Charity Water. I, I, I must say like most people know it's really big uh, charity maybe. Uh, so I picked them and here you can say I applied them an example like for my nonprofit organization Charity Water and I want to ensure it effectively en engage visitors, encourage them to take action. Hey, can see then ChatGPT comes up with like what I'm doing wrong, what I should do right, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Many, it, it's going to make you an expert. ChatGPT is going to make you an expert without having an expert. The good thing here is like uh, they're going to save lots of your time to go finding an expert, ask them the particular question, then you get the reply. The 50% work you can easily do with ChatGPT and you know what kind of problem you, are, you have, then you can go with the then once you find a problem, then you can either hire someone expert or you can do with your own and fix the problem. Let me go to the next slide. Using ChatGPT for SEO. So a couple of things before I uh, jump into this slide, I think most people are asking maybe a question. Let me see. Uh, I, I will answer all of your question after ChatGPT and uh, the other slide because I have to cover a lot of things. Yes, there's a lot of uh, AI tools out there. We'll talk about this as well. Uh, let's complete the chat GPT first, then I'll jump into the Q&A later. Okay, so let's talk about using chat GPT for SEO, search engine optimization. Yes, it's really important and uh, very important things for, have, for your website content. Like you write content, you need to rank it up on Google, but you need some recommendation of what things you are doing. People do audit, uh, SEO audit, you can say like to see what kind of error, what kind of issue you are doing or what kind of recommendation you should do. Using ChatGPT, you can easily do. Yes, there are some limitations currently, but I think within a couple of uh, weeks, you will see like, uh, I think it's a couple of days maybe. I don't know, but I what I heard like ChatGPT will be available online that means uh, currently it's showing the data back in 2021 but then it will be online and show you the current data and that will be game changer for the seo still doing really good things but if you want to see real-time data then uh, just wait a couple of uh, weeks then you will have the chat gpt you'll see the hundred times powerful chat gpt than now uh, if you want to use ChatGPT particularly, I will recommend you to go to Google Word. Same thing, ChatGPT, but difference between Google Word and ChatGPT is Google Word uses like it, it connects with the internet right away and give you the correct information. So for SEO perspective, Google Word can help, but most of the time, ChatGPT can be helpful. Both are same, no worries. Yes. Okay, here you can see uh, research competitive strategies uh, related to a particular topic. Please anal analyze this URL. You can put your URL of your website and do the stuff. One of the things uh, I do mostly uh, with our own, like doing, uh, getting some recommendation, the strategy, what kind of strategy I, I should apply for my website, for my content marketing, so that I can get better results. So most of the time, ChatGPT replies with me something like this. Like I asked them, optimize the SEO strategy for our nonprofit organization named Charity Water to increase online visibility and drive organic traffic. So you write content articles using ChatGPT and then tell ChatGPT to write the suggestion, write the long tail cures for you. And they're going to write everything for you. That means you have all in one package and you just have to do a review and then do the work with your own. That's gonna save lots of your time. So I just copy the prompt, paste it. Here you can see, it gives me some recommendation what I should do, what I should not do. And if you ask, uh, if you ask a particular, like you, you need some uh, long tail keywords or keyword that you wanna uh, target, it also gonna give you the keyword. <clears throat> Let me go to the next slide. Mm. It's called website user experience. 
most of the people may know, may don't know, website user experience is like very important factor. It's like if user not interacting with your website, not loving your content, not loving uh, how you are uh, showing the message, it will be really hard for them to convert, uh, convince them to become a donor, become a lead, become a customer. It's, it'll be really hard. So you should have a really good user experience with the audience so that audience can easily engage with your website. Uh, we, we, we rely, most of the time, we rely on expert to get the best suggestion. In case if you have any question, you want to know how, uh, you, want, you need an expert helping hand who can do review, or who can give you some information, how you can do the website user experience, uh, optimization, stuff like that. You go to ChatGPT, copy this prompt, or ask a particular question regarding website user experience, and it's gonna reply with this answer. So I just asked a couple of questions like, conduct a comprehensive US, UX audit for a nonprofit website, review the site layout, blah, 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 and then gonna reply with the answer here you can see. These are the, on the right-hand side, you can see everything about the answer it provide. Yes, there are some limitation, but just wait for a couple of weeks. It will be powerful than you can imagine. But if you need some recommendation, if, if you need some tips and tricks, if you need how uh, the website user experience, what are the important elements you need for website user experience, it's it, it going to provide you everything with just one click. You just copy the prompt, paste it, and you will get your answer. Okay. Let me go to the next slide. Content marketing. This, this one is one of my favorite because um, whenever uh, someone uh, having a non website, or most of the time they have a question regarding like uh, how I'm going to do the marketing stuff, how I'm going to create, uh, I have content, how I'm going to uh, create a marketing strategy uh, on my website. And most of the time people don't have any information. Like what happens with us, like uh, clients can't provide us the information because they don't have any, they don't have any information about the mission, vision, about page home page, like you want to create a website, but you, you are lacking of having information or you may don't have enough time to generate the information. What do you have to do? You have to go to chat GPT and copy the second prompt. And that's gonna generate the about us page content or about your mission, about your vision. And you have the content ready within, within just a couple of seconds. That's gonna save a lot of your time and we, we're just doing some uh, some tweakings, doing some modification. You will have things in your hand. So I have to go fast. Uh, I have to go fast to show you some live example. Uh, develop compelling website content. Then we have created resource center for our blog section of, on our website that offers valuable insight, educational content, and resources related, related to the industry you are in and develop articles, guide, infographics, videos that address common questions, share tips. So these are the questions you have to copy and paste it on chat GPT and gonna reply that with this answer. Here you can see, goal of content marketing, stuff like that, content marketing strategy for, I use Charity Water for an example to show you how it works, but you can use your, uh, your nonprofit name, your mission, your vision, stuff like that and you can see how it performs. That's gonna, I must say like it's it gonna help you like to generate your content about page content, whatever content you need it, really easy, really fast and more effectively. Let me go to the next um, AI. Before I go there, I, I think I should show practically how ChatGPT works, okay? Or should I proceed? Then show everything practically. Yeah, maybe keep on going and then we can go back and show. Um, do you want to answer a question? So someone was asking, will chat GBT? Oh, you want to save, save it to yes, the end? I'll, yes, I'll, I'd love to answer everything at the end because I don't think we have enough time to cover up everything because the this one is going to blow most of the people's mind. So All right, let's keep on going. Time. Okay. So uh, let's talk about me journey. Same thing like chat GBT. Uh, you ask question and uh, let me close this up. Okay. You ask question and it replies like, uh, like chat GPT, you ask a question and reply with text-based content. But on mid journey, 
you ask the question, it replies with the images. How beautiful it is. One of the, uh, I think the limitation here will be your imagination, except that there's no limitation. Like you have something in your mind and you want to see a visual, you want to see an image, you want to see a picture, go to Meet Journey, type the prompt and enter and it's gonna generate the images. That is super beautiful and super powerful. I will absolutely recommend everyone to try this out. And that's gonna um, blow your mind away. Similar thing like ChatGPT, but Meet Journey helps you to create images content. Let's go to some practical prompt stuff, then uh, uh, then show you how, practically how it works. And so let's get started. Mijani prompts for logo design. So for web content marketing, like Mijani can be applied for like any kind of uh, content you need in terms of images. And let's say you want to have a logo, you want to have a website UI, you want to have a particular image, you want to have imagination. You can do everything. You, you need a business card. Go to Meet Journey and type, I need a, a business card for this particular company, name this. It will reply with business card. What I did, I go to Meet Journey and I copy this prompt or I write this prompt here, you can see on the right hand side, I write this prompt to generate uh, for a nonprofit organization like a modern worm inviting logo for a nonprofit organization that helps to find uh, homes for pets, the logo should be based on the image. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Co dog or cat, or, or it should be in the colors brown, white, and black by Paul Brand. So you may have a question like, I understand everything, but what is Paul Brand doing here? So what I did here is like to get the better result. And I created this prompt. Uh, I recommend you to like end of your prompt, you should add this by. Paul Rent. So what Meet Journey will do, it will do similar, uh, it will follow the similar strategy or similar design that Paul Rent uses. Uh, just to let you know, Paul Rent uh, designs, Paul Rent is one of the biggest logo designer in the world. And uh, he designed the UNICEF logo and big brands logo. So I think that fits into this particular category really well. There's lots of other like uh, Massimo here, Solves here, so you can use any of them and play with uh, your idea, and you will see like um, play with this prompt, you will get the better uh, result. Like and then uh, on the you can say like I said, no text, realistic photo details, shadow. So these prompts actually help you to get the best out of it for a logo. So I type it, and this uh, that's the result I got. I can see. That's a result I got after typing this prompt on Meet Journey. Then uh, let me clear this up. What is it? Cool. Then we have the modern logo for a nonprofit organization that helps to provide a clean water people in developing countries. So this uh, this logo actually uh, this uh, prompt I actually use here. Uh, on, on the on the first one, you can see, and also there is a second version of it, and the third one is this one. So yes, you may say like this logo looks good, man, don't looks good, but the things you have like you can do practice, you can generate a better version, you can ask better question. It's gonna generate the images as long as you want. The better you do the better refine you, you, you can do the image, you can do with these uh, content images. Let me go to the next slide and it will be for web UI concept design. So uh, what Meet Journey does here is like with this web UI concept design is like you go to Meet Journey and you play, uh, put this particular prompt. So I know like uh, I have a couple of prompt, I can do show you how some advanced prompt engineering, but what will happen, most of the people are not really tech savvy or just hearing the names first. So it will be really hard them to understand. So I, I will doing some, so what I did here, I like put some basic prompt where you can go to mid journey and put some basic prompt. Once you are really okay with this one, then you can go for some advanced prompt. Then once you refine your question or prompt, you will get the better result. So I just put a couple of them here. I hope that will give you an idea how you can ask the right question 
to get the better result. Of course, there are some better prompts you can do, but you should have some advanced knowledge on how you can ask the right question. So I can see uh, the, uh, I can see like uh, protects the environment, a visually stunning website design for nonprofit organization that protects the environment. I can see the first one and the last one. These are the same prompt images, different variations. Same thing like, uh, I guess a couple of web UI design. Yes, there's some of them maybe not 100% correct, 100% perfect, but you can make it, refine it to get it 100% perfect. Let me go to that last one. Uh, I, I'll, I'll not say like it will replace the stock image, but uh, you can generate some really beautiful images uh, based on your creativity. Like you have some question to have like, uh, I can see. Uh, a heartwarming image of a pet being adopted with the text adopt don't shop. I give a pet second chance at life. The thing here is like mid journey sometimes mess up with the text. So I'll not recommend you to put the text. You can just write a heartwarming image of a pet being adopted. That's a prompt. And then you will see like that gonna reply with these beautiful images. Like the only thing uh, you have the limitation is the imagination. The last, AI tools will be the simplified. Now it's time to dive in practically. These are the some blah, blah, blah stuff that I talk here. Now it's time to show you how this works practically. Let me show you, uh, start with chat GPT. I hope everyone see my screen. Okay. Let me go to Mm, article okay so this is the chat gpt now you may have question like how you can create account on chat gpt you go to chat you search on google chat gpt okay you search in google then you find chat gpt you go there click on introducing chat gpt and you click on sign up once you click on sign up you have to put your information and going to create your account there once you have the account ready you will see a dashboard like this layout like this now it may look slightly different in terms of uh, colors and UI because i'm using a pro plan plus plan but you can use the free plan for doing some practice even it generates really good content on the free plan as well so i'll not recommend everyone to start with the paid plan the plus plan is actually only 20 bucks uh, per month but i'll recommend you to start with the free one then once you love chat gpt and want to play with more start with the paid one so on the left hand side, you can see like some prompt here. So before I dive in, let me show you how ChatGPT works. And like once you log in, you will see something like this. Okay. So you have to ask the question here, like send a message. So like, hey, I am new here. Please help me to navigate chat GPT. You ask this question. Now ChatGPT is gonna reply with how, uh, with the answer. Like here you can see, like a couple of things it already explained, like the content it has like before September, 2021, but don't worry, ChatGPT is coming with 100 times powerful than today. And it will be available to online. That means it, it can generate live content. And then you, 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 you can't imagine how powerful it, it will be. I don't think we have enough time, but I have to go very fast. So you, you ask a question and it reply with this answer. So this question we call prompt. The better question or better prompt you ask, the better result you'll get. So uh, let me show you a couple of questions that I ask here. So left-hand side, you can see these are the thread. Like you ask a particular question and it will reply with the uh, answer. Then if you ask the same question again or different question, it will, uh, took the previous question here on the same thread, okay? And try to also use the previous information to create better information here. So let me go to uh, copywriting. I shared with the copywriting, I saw you this example. Here you can see, write a copy for this particular uh, charity. I write down everything. Now it's created this powerful copy. If you don't like it, click on gener regenerate response. That's gonna create different copy. If you need more, tell it to write a 2000 word, like, hey, chat GPT, please write this copy in 
2000 words. Take it. So now he's going to write the same copy in, that will be two, more than 2000 words. See, it's going to start working. Like you have the copy ready. Then I go to article. Same thing. It's going to create the copywriting here. You can see it done. See how big, how big it is. Okay. Let's go to article. So I write, create a, curate a blog post that outlines the effect of autoimmune disease on communities without clean water access. So you have to change your name of your uh, nonprofit or change what kind of problem you are solving and how, uh, what kind of things you want to educate people and write this similar kind of structure uh, prompt. Now it's write uh, these uh, articles. If you want, you can regenerate response. It's gonna generate the second article. Hey, you can see how fast, how beautiful it is. Let me go to um, this uh, SEO part, okay? So you see that screenshot, I ask a question and it's gonna reply with this uh, answer. So if you have like, if you can ask like, generate some long tail keywords, like if I say like generate some long tail keywords. Oh, oops. That's gonna generate some long tail keywords for this um, particular website. It took the information from the first message uh, and it's gonna apply with, on the particular thread only. Like it can only know who you are, what kind of information you're asking only in, in a particular thread. Let's go to landing page optimization. Oh my God, I don't have enough time. I don't know how I'm gonna complete everything, but let's see. Uh, what is the best way to structure my landing page copy and layout to maximize conversation? We talked about this on the slide before. So this is the copy that you have to like um, prompt. They have to copy, copy and paste it like this on chat GPT. <laughs> Let me copy this one. Command C, Command B. Now I have to click on enter. You see, it's gonna generate the copy for me. The tips and tricks for me, the answers. So, this, so what do you have to do? You just have to copy the prompt from the slide and paste it here to get the result. Same thing. Uh, then we go to UX audit for nonprofit. Same thing. Copy the prompt, paste it here, and you'll be able to see how beautiful, how better the answer it will be. The better question you ask, the better result you'll get. Uh, you can add your information here from any of any like any of this part. You'll get the better result. And if you don't like the copy, you can ask it again. You can generate the response again, however you like. Um, let me see what I have like contest strategy. So I ask. Uh, this is part of the content marketing, like I shared on the slide before. So what I ask here, like I have a website and this is my website. This, this is the name of my website. Please create a content marketing strategy for this particular uh, charity. So that's gonna create this, like you see how beautiful uh, Ted GPT gonna, prov like how beautiful it is, like how, how good uh, Ted GPT provided you this kind of strategy for this particular um, charity, like you can see. If you don't like it, tell, to create again, or you can click on continue generating. That's gonna generate even more. So what I'll recommend everyone to go there, at least try with one time. It's very simple, very easy, and you're gonna love this. I bet you're gonna love this. And once you know what is ChatGPT, you can go to Google Word, similar thing, but not powerful as ChatGPT, but it only has access to the live, so you can try this out. Um, <laughs> let me go to the mid journey. I just need two or three minutes. I have to explain my journey. Uh, I'm sorry, it's taking- All right, and then we'll get time. to questions. I'll organize them. There's a lot of great questions in there. So show yes, how- I'll see. I know like if I'm gonna answer all the question, I can't complete the slide. That is what I was worried on. So <laughs> let me go to the Discord. So what you have to do is like you go to, you have to go to uh, Discord, Discord. I go to discord.com. And you go to discord.com, click on sign up, and you create an account on Discord. Then you go to mid 
Oh, what I just write? Mid journey. I go to mid journey. You go to mid journey and you click on join the beta. That means it's not really available 100% ready, but the beta version is really powerful. It will be game changer. It's now already game changer, but who knows, like that's gonna change a lot of things. So you click on join the beta. Once you click on that and you have the account created on Discord, uh, I go to uh, where it was, let me see, Google Chrome again. And you click on uh, like, on my end, it's, it's uh, sending me to the Discord right away because uh, I have the Discord login. But in your case, it will show like, add uh, mid journey to your Discord. You click on add and it's gonna add to your mid journey uh, to your Discord. Once you go to Discord, you have to create a server. Very simple, very easy, just create a server uh, when you create your account on Discord, that, that tell you to create a server and you put your name and you'll have something like this. So currently you can see Tarek server. I click on that. Then what do you have to do? Once you added Mid Journey to your server, you go to Mid Journey here. You see the boat, beautiful boat. I click on the title here, click on announcement or anywhere. Then you have to find this Mid Journey bot. I click on Mid Journey bot and then I have to click on add to server. Once you click on add to server, uh, then you can see I have a couple of server out there. I just click any of these. I click on continue. Then I have to authorize. Then uh, this uh, bot will be added to my server. Here you can see the server, the bot is added to my server. Now I can ask the question. Now how you can ask the right question. So let me show you with my uh, real time Discord application. Let me go to my Discord app. Okay, one minute. I hope you see my screen. Okay, you go to Discord and uh, first thing you have to do some settings. If you have a free plan, you don't have to do anything, but you, you have to, like they will give you 25 credits for uh, take a look on that stuff like that. So if you have a free plan, uh, you can take a look on that. Then you have to go to settings. You click on backslash and click on settings. Click on enter. Once you click on settings, then now you have to do some settings. Say if you are generating logo, you have to select the version four and keep everything as it is. You don't have to touch anything. But if you are generating images or anything else, you can go play with uh, version five or version 5.1, any of this and based on what version you choose it will uh, generate image uh, on how you're asking so if you want to uh, write a prompt on mid journey you have to do it like this you click on backslash and click on imagine imagine okay sorry <laughs> imagine and now it's a prompt now what do you have to do you have to go to uh, my slide and copy let's say this one copy this similar copy the prompt i put on the slide and control v paste it here what you can write it with your own like you have some question you can write it with and, and you click on enter okay now it's currently on queue because uh, i have a lot of things going on my server so me journey like uh, in your case, you have to wait a couple of seconds to see the result, but let me show you how the results were uh, made of like, hey, you can see. I go there and you can see the question, uh, the prompt that I ask here, a modern logo for a nonprofit organization, color blue, blah, blah, blah. Then it's generate this for image. If you want to pick any of these, you have to click on uh, this. This is the first one, second one, third, fourth. You have to click on uh, upscale one that's gonna gave you the better uh, high quality files image of the first one and if you want to generate more version of this uh, first one you can have to click on version one but if you don't like any of this you have to click on here to gener regenerate it again okay same thing for the different prompt here you can see different result different question different results so here you can see different logo the better you ask question the better you refine the prompt the better results you'll get same thing here you can see this is the web ui design 
how much time we have. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're we're like nine minutes out, so if we can get to the questions and answer, that would be great. Okay, let me finish everything. Okay, All the audience would be confused. So I can see uh, some web UI design. Same thing. I just go there, I click on backslash imaging and paste a prompt, and that's a result came here. Here you can see beautiful. Yes, you may don't like it. You have to. What you have to do like what I did. I click on version one. I generate full version of this version one. Then I click on version four, and it generate more version of the version four. Then if you like any of this, you have to click on uh, upscale one, upscale two, three, four. Then it's going to give you the result. Here you can say, uh, write and prompt like heartwarming image of a pet being adopted. Same thing I shared uh, talk on the slide and generate really beautiful image. Then I click on version two. It generate more image. Then you can refine it in a way un until you are satisfied with the image. Really powerful, really beautiful. And it's really cheap as well. It's just start with $10 per month. Enough for you to practice. There's a couple of things. Uh, before I finish, there's another AI tool out there. Uh, let me go to, go to, go to where? Okay. Uh, I think Simplified. we need a whole other webinar. I think we need a whole other <laughs> webinar. Yeah. For a long time on this. Yeah. Um, so while you're switching your screen tech, I, I answered one of the questions, but you can use chat GPT to create HTML code to for a landing page, correct? Sure, sure. You can do anything, anything <laughs> you want. The only limitation you will have is your imagination. That's, that's the answer I have. The How only limitation... Mm -hmm. including your current version of your website's landing page, like the, the code of it, could it improve um, or optimize your current code? Uh -huh. oh, okay, so you should have some sort of basic knowledge to uh, write some code. If you know how, what is HTML, what is CSS, then it's gonna help you. Like it will work like a helping hand, helping hand to help you uh, save your time. You know what you're looking for. You just ask the question. I'm gonna reply with the code. Yes, sometimes it's gonna generate some buggy code and that's gonna mess up everything. So you should know how it works, how the coding works, then you will have the best result. We have a question here. How is this not going to lead to cookie cutter websites? Okay, let me see the questions. Like how, so if you're using chat GPT and saying, you know, there's many companies or nonprofits that have the same mission and they ask it a question. They're, the question um, someone's posing is, how are we not going to just come up with the same answer or the same website time after time? The thing here is like, you have to ask the right question to chat GPT. Tell them like, we don't need this kind of website. Please generate a complete unique, uh, not a cookie cutter website and include this in your prompt and you will be surprised with the answer on GPT on chat GPT, try this out and you will get your answer. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, there's a question. Can you upload images as prompts to mid journey? Yes, you can upload your images and tell them to create it more beautiful, make it more beautiful so mm -hmm. that you can uh, use it. Like, yes, you can also do this. A lot of things you can do. Uh, it's really hard to explain everything in 30 to 40 minutes, but if we have that long webinar, two or three hours, I have the capability to teach you guys everything from start to finish. Let's go. <laughs> that's right. Okay, let's go to a few more. And then we will, that's a good segue into um, some services and offerings if they want to uh, continue. There was a, continue the conversation with Tarek um, and I. So let's see. Do you want to touch on this last slide? Okay. How do we use AI and AI detector? Should I, uh, can I show them? Sure. Okay. This is a really important question. I have the answer ready as well. I think this is, uh, I just uh, share this a couple of seconds. So there's a website called contentdetector.ai. I'm sorry, I don't have enough time to cover this up in depth, but if you go to the website, you copy the content generated using chat GPT, paste it here. I'm gonna I'm gonna show like it's gonna detect the content created by chat GPT. You copy the content, go to quillabot.com, paste your content and paraphrase. 
and that uh, that website gonna face your article then it will be plagiarism free no one can detect it's written by AI. so that's why i'm talking once you generate the content you have to uh, you have to review it manually and try to check if it's plagiarism stuff like that then you have to do some work but the thing says like it's gonna save tons of your work tons of your time tons of your money of course and so we did have a couple questions, which we, you and I talked about legal and copyright. And so we know that you cannot trademark an item um, or a logo that has been created from, from mid journey. Um, if there are, you have to look closer at the fine print as far as uh, commercial use and for profit. So you can't create something, put it on, put it on a piece of artwork and sell it. Um, how are there, however, there are some stipulations to that. So again, we could go into a whole another webinar of legal, but they do, if you, if you ask ChatGPT, if you search it, um, the legal uh, fine print is there. A couple of things uh, regarding mid journey is like some, some, some content you can't actually copyright it. Copyright means can't actually make it like, uh, like how people do the human copyright things. Like you can't actually copyright the image if you want. Uh, and if you have a question regarding the legal stuff, a lot of regulation and things are going changes. So if you're really concerned about like this kind of stuff, I would recommend you to have your attorney at your side so he can do a review and it will be stress-free. But don't yes. worry, people are using this and you can start using this today. Don't worry about this. As we all know, this uh, launched in November. So this is very new. There, there are some um, there's not really a precedent. There's some documentation out there, but as always, if you are concerned, that was good advice, Tarek, consult your lawyer. Um, so I did want to fill you in before we have to go. We have three minutes left. If you have all been on TechSoup's amazing website, um, check out their services under website services and digital marketing, all of the, the range of services that we provide from website um, to digital marketing, full funnel, and of course, AI. Um, content and marketing strategy. So if you go to the next slide, you can also, um, once we send this out um, and from the TechSoup website, find a link to a free consultation. We can chat about your marketing goals, your plan, the persona, um, as well as develop, work with you to develop the strategy of how to use AI. Is it to develop a, a, a website, some branding, um, what does that roadmap look like based on your goals? So let us know, sign up for um, a free consultation. And if you're interested in getting our expertise, we have 200 plus prompts. Uh, Tarek gave you a teaser, about three in each category. Um, we have a lot more where that came from. Um, so we look forward to having a conversation it um, was wonderful to be here today. Sorry, we didn't get to all the questions, but we'll be sure to follow up with you um, after. So thank you so much.